This month, we're gonna talk about healthy lunches. Whether it's for you or for your children, there's ways to improve and make your lunches as healthy as possible. First, we're gonna talk a little bit about the protein that's a really important part of the lunch. The reason why it's important is because it helps keep you feeling full throughout the day. There's some good ways to get some protein into your lunch. A simple way could be just a hard boiled egg. It's a nice, easy addition, it's tasty, and it's easy to take almost anywhere. When you're making your choices for lunch meats, you wanna to try to have the least amount of processing as possible. So a good option might be turkey or chicken, and as opposed to um, bologna or some other kind of processed meat. When you're making your sandwich, you wanna go for a whole wheat bread, which is gonna give you, again, a little more fiber and a little more nutrient density. Other ways to possibly get protein in are as simple as a cheese stick. What kid doesn't like a cheese stick in their lunch? We don't eat enough vegetables. If we can get vegetables in our lunch, it is an excellent way to get more vitamins and minerals and nutrient-dense foods into your day. So there's a couple different ways where you can get more vegetables into lunch. You could do something as simple as a celery stick with peanut butter. The great thing about this is not only is it tasty and delicious, but it's got the combination of your protein and fat in the peanut butter along with the vegetables. You could even take a salad. A salad, a small salad could fit in any kind of disposable container with some easily, readily available chopped up chicken and you have that great combination of your protein and your vegetables again. And a little teeny bag of chopped up vegetables or little vegetables that you put in a Ziploc container are a great way to just get your kids starting to eat vegetables throughout the day and setting really good habits that will last for a lifetime. Some snack options would be fruit and nuts. So one simple way is to buy it already prepackaged, but it's actually a less expensive way if you buy the whole fruit and cut it up on your own. Kids will eat this and it'll give them that energy and the good carbs and it's a nice way to get the sweetness to their lunch without adding anything with sugar, sugar added. Cut up fruit always looks delicious and it gives that nice colorful rainbow of foods that you want to have, not just in your lunches, but in every meal. The reason why nuts are a great option is because they combine not only protein, but fat. A handful of nuts go a long way towards adding healthy fats and protein together. And they're delicious. You want to be careful that you don't overdo the nuts but that's why some of these prepackaged are a great, easy way to go. Another way to add protein and fiber into your meals for lunch are hummus. Hummus is just ground up chickpeas, it's delicious. The kids love to dip their carrots, but it also comes with a little small portion of pretzels, which makes it really easy and really appetizing. There are some really nice, again, easy, little applesauce containers that give you a little squeeze of applesauce, which the kids still love. And when you're making things like tuna salad or when you're putting things on your bread, an option is to put a healthy fat in there. You could put a layer of guacamole or a layer of avocado, or you could even add just a layer of hummus to your turkey sandwich. And again, it just adds a little bit of fiber, it adds a little bit more nutrients, and it adds that good healthy fat. Mustard is also a really good option, as opposed to mayonnaise, to help manage calories. And one way to do it is ditch the bread and just roll up some of that lunch meat, put a little bit of this in a to-go container, and you have a great protein option for your meal without some of the carbs. If you're looking for a healthy alternative to potato chips, one easy thing to do is make homemade popcorn. It's as simple as popcorn kernels, and coconut oil. Coconut oil, another really healthy fat, especially the extra virgin coconut oil that gives a little added sweetness, will be a big hit with the family. You can make a big batch of it, and then just put little containers of it, little Ziploc baggies into your kids' lunches. And when you make it with extra virgin coconut oil, it adds a little sweetness and flavor that will make them the hit of their lunchroom table. And you can make extra, it smells amazing when you're cooking it at home. One final thing, 
If you're sending your kids to school with juice boxes, water is always gonna be a better option. You can use a water bottle, disposable water bottle, just like this, or you can even use a refillable one that makes it easy, inexpensive, and they can even take it to the water fountain throughout the day when they're done. So those are some healthy tips for lunches. I look forward to seeing you again next month.